Well, it's a terrific day here in Laughlin, Nevada. It's October, about 75 degrees. And we have two plants here at Harris Casino. This is a Nerium oleander down here. Watch them out of the video. And here, this here is what's called a yellow oleander. Now it's not a true oleander, although they call it that. This is from the genus Coscabella. It's called a Coscabella thevetia. Some people call it a thevetia or thevetia. It used to be called a thevetia pruviana. It's a poisonous plant from Mexico to Central America. Now it's also known as a yellow oleander and sometimes a lucky nut in the West Indies. Now this is an evergreen plant. It can be grown as a shrub or a tree. And here, of course, you have a tree. So the leaves here The leaves are very lance shaped. They're very thin and narrow. Now the leaves here on the our true oleander are a little bit thicker. Now they're also, you know, lance shaped. But up here they're a little thinner and they're much uh, glossier. See here? That very shiny green gloss on the back. You got this great shade. Now they're very um, willow like although they don't wave in the wind like a true willow. And the flowers here, here's a flower of our uh, Coscabella. Now Coscabella in Spanish, it means bell, or literally it means jingle bell, like jingle, 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 kind of like Santa Claus. All right, it also means rattle, like a rattle, and sometimes referred to like a rattlesnake because this is so poisonous. So the petals are fantastic. You can obviously see the difference between this oleander, which is not the true oleander, like this one down here, which is a true nerium oleander. All right. Now this is very poisonous plant. If you eat it, it will cause a nausea, diarrhea, headaches, all sorts of problems. You might get heart disease. And even if you eat the nuts of this plant, it's very fatal. Now, even eating like four or five nuts of this plant will kill you. In some countries, people will commit suicide by eating this plant. So I mentioned this is from the Central America or Mexico region, but in places like India or the Middle East, the flowers, they're used for ceremonial uh, purposes because they're quite pretty. And really when you handle this plant, you should wear gloves, but um, I'm not today. And this leaves here, you see they form a, it's called whorls. So they kind of circular. Now they alternate up the stem very slightly. One here, one here, one here, one here. As they alternate up the tip to the flower itself. Or the bell, or the coscabella. So let's see if I find a um, different sort of color. Now sometimes, this one here, it's actually a little bit orange. Oh, picked it off. So this one's actually a little bit orange. It's the same plant. It's got this great orange look. Opens up, it's great for hummingbirds, minor birds, but a lot of uh, animals are allergic or it's toxic to animals. So for quite a small few that will use it for pollination of the nectar and other flavors. So this here 
is really a good example. Now I mentioned this can grow in a shrub or a tree and this one's cut to uh, be like a tree. It's very easy to grow. It's drought tolerant. Low fertilizer. And if you want to propagate it, what you simply do, see up here, here we go. If you want to propagate it, you take a cutting, just cut it out the node before the leaf, before the stems, right? And then you pull off the leaves and you plant it and it will pretty much self-propagate. Now here's the nut. Now the nut or the fruit, it's of course the seed. And the seed, if you eat like uh, just three or four of them, you will Basically, it's fatal. You will die. So, I don't recommend uh, you eat this plant. All right. So, that's our yellow oleander. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please watch uh, my other videos. Thanks. Bye.